Hello guys, what's going on? In this short video, I'm going to show you guys how you can color code your rows and columns by selecting them uh, using a little bit of VBA magic as well as a little bit of conditional formatting. This is going to be a very short video guys, so before we start, I would like you to hit that like button, hit that little subscribe button down below here as well as that little bell notification so that I can keep you updated for any new content. Alright guys, so Basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how we're going to select any cell within a range and as you can see the column becomes blue, the row becomes this light orange and I'm going to do a second one where everything is the same color as well. This is quite an awesome video guys and not so difficult, not a learning, not the steep learning curve at all. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sheet as we've got here. So sheet one, I would like you to create the sheet. Just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to create some random data. So let's say we've got a January and February here. We've got some months and I'm just going to shift it up over to December. Just extra two months there. All right, just zoom out for our video's purpose. And we've got a few items. So let's say item one, uh, and we can go to item three for our, and we're just gonna put in some random data. You can say equals rand between, just to populate some random data, open those brackets, and we're gonna say that the bottom will be a 40 comma 100 top. So this is just to, populate some random numbers very quickly for us. So there you can see it's, it's randoming some numbers and just wanna to go to item three here. So these are random numbers. I'm just gonna hit control C. So you see the running ants and you're gonna click paste and we're gonna paste the sp uh, values here. So just to take away this formula. So there we've got our nice, we got a nice set of data that we can work with. All right, guys. So now what I would like you to do is go into cheat sheet number one. I've left cheat sheet number one for you guys down below. So I'm just going to fetch it for myself here as well. So I've got my cheat sheet here and we're going to start for first with our row. So you can see there's the little syntax we've got here. Equals cell uh, row equals row. So I want you to highlight this piece of code here or syntax. Hit control C to copy that and we're going to go back into our spreadsheet here. We're going to highlight the range that we want to apply the conditional formatting. And then you're going to click on home. You're going to click on conditional formatting. And we're just going to highlight this. We're going to say new rule. New rule based on a formula. Use a formula. Here in the formula bar, we're just going to hit control V of that uh, pasted syntax that we've got here and how would you like to format this so we're just going to need a we click on format let's say for font we would like it to become bold as well we're going to put in a full let's say full color we want the row to become let's say uh, orange here so we can click on orange or let's go for a lighter orange and we're going to say okay and we're going to say okay and this applies it to that first column there all right, so now what I would like you guys to do is go to the developer tab. We're going to paste in a little bit of code. So I've got the developer tab open here. If you don't have the developer tab, quick fix. You can go to file, options, and here in options, I would like you to click on customize ribbon and just make sure this developer tab is ticked on. And you're going to say, okay, then you will be able to access this developer tab. You're going to go into the Visual Basic, and there we, we've created a new sheet. I would like you to go to, to the cheat sheet. So I'm just gonna open my cheat sheet again. So here I've got a little piece of VBA code here at the bottom. I'd like you to highlight everything. We're gonna say Control C. I'm gonna go back to our spreadsheet into the Visual Basic area, uh, area here. And we're just gonna paste it. We're gonna make sure you're gonna click on sheet one here. That's the one that we've created. Control V to paste. And we're going to go and exit or save this. And we're going to go exit. And now, if you click on it, there you go and see the row becomes bold and it highlights as you place that condition in. This is quite awesome. So we, now we're going to add an extra layer to this. We're going to also want to highlight the column if you want to. So what I would like you to go to uh, cheat sheet number one again. 
we're going to go back to cheat sheet number one and here we've got column you see we'll put column and here we've got the syntax that we need to copy so this will be uh, just below the column Control c to copy go back into your visual basic here so developer uh, uh, home then we're going to go to conditional formatting we first we highlight the data first rule of excel highlight your data all right so we highlight the data that we're working with we're going to put on the conditional formatting we're going to add a new rule and this is also going to be use a formula to determine you're going to control v to paste that column syntax that we've got and we would like to format this as well let's say we want to go to font we also want to bold this out and fill give us a nice little blue color we're going to say okay okay and there it is because we already pasted that little bit of vba code in this should work perfectly so there you can see it highlights blue the column it bolds it out as well and it makes the column uh, a light orange as well this is awesome very short very nice trick and uh, let's do one more where we want to highlight the row and the column simultaneously with only one color so what we are going to do is i'm going to delete the conditional formatting that we've already got here so conditional formatting you're going to go to clear rules here you're going to select uh, clear rules from selected cell so that takes away that conditional formatting so what i would like you guys to go back to the um, cheat sheet that i've left you guys and here I've got a row and column portion where I combined these two uh, syntaxes essentially into one. So you can just control C, copy that up, go back into your spreadsheet, hit home, conditional formatting. Oh, first of all, select thy data. There we go. Then we go to conditional formatting. We're going to go to a new rule. We based it off a formula paste that formula here in the formula bar and we can just format it so we, we get back that border or the font sorry we're going to bold it out we're going to go to full and let's use a nice light green color and we're going to say okay okay and there we go column and row will be highlighted and bold as you select thy data how awesome is this guys i hope you like this very short and sweet tutorial and you can apply this within your own spreadsheets always hit that like button hit this little subscribe button just here down below and i will see you for our next tutorial cheers guys